Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and we are back with another episode of Let's Play our City Skylines Snowfall expansion. Gone ahead and named the areas after our Twitch.tv subscribers over here. One of the perks of subscribing over on Twitch.tv is I name things after you. We've got the Griff 922 Water Processing District with a nice sort of official government-y kind of name about it. We've got uh, Cord 44th Street, well known for its shopping, absolutely. Uh, we've got over here, we've got the Member 75 Heights. Now, we can change some of the styles in this. I don't remember if switching, for low density, if we switch to European, I'm not sure if it, what kind of difference it would make. I do know that mixing and matching uh, styles can lead to issues. Um, I'm not sure that it makes a difference for the low density. Let's, let's try switching a few of these to European and see what's what. We've got uh, Vasil Square over here, named mostly for its plaza plus the playground over here. Actually, can I... Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, is it? I'm looking for the walking paths. If I put a little walking path... Can I connect these two? I think now people can walk through the park to here. Open things up a bit more to pedestrian traffic, which would be nice. i got to do a little bit more of that. Actually, why don't we have, from here, the ability... It's going to require bulldozing a building here to walk to that shopping district there, and maybe also here. By opening some of this up, especially when we do get the transit in, which is what's going to happen here, people are going to be more reliably able to walk to their correct bus stop and have a few fewer problems getting around. Try to make things a little bit more pedestrian friendly. I don't know if I can fit in something here without bold. Oh, I can. Very nice. And then the same thing over here. Connect you up that way. Uh, obviously, we'll have to bulldoze something here. Um, and then maybe from here, so we'll have a little walking park through the trees area. I'll try to bring you near. Uh, that's not where I want to end up. Interesting little snap it decided to do there. Nope. Oh. Add the bull, does it? Gets us near the in this intersection over here, which I think will be helpful. And I don't think. It's hard to tell with that tree in the way. There you go. There you go. Now people can reach there. Now these should be paved paths. It says pedestrians. This is bicycle, only bicycles. But I think that bicycles and pedestrians can use the regular pavement paths. So we'll get a few more of those, which is often something I ignore. And I think that's, you know, one of the, the many mistakes that I make in this game is, is that. But it helps to have these extra gaps. Normally, I, I pack things in quite tightly, and there's simply not enough room for these little pedestrian paths. And now we do. Let's get another one here. Little alleys behind these little development blocks. There we are. We got a little bit over here. Well, we got to that park, but why don't we do there? And again, I think we'll end up bulldozing just a bit. There'll still be room for a building there, just a slightly smaller building, and open that up. Uh, you can almost certainly get trimmed down, which is nice. And that gives us extra room for a pedestrian path right over there. Come on, I think we can do it. Let's just go to here. And not have to bowl those too much. We will have to get rid of you. And then a little bit of that. I don't know if there's going to be a need to walk over to this main road, but who knows? We might do bus stops. There could be all kinds of things in the future. And at least, you know, by doing this, we will just encourage more pedestrianism and biking. 
We've already got bike paths on, I believe, or bike lanes on all these small streets. I think on the larger ones, I don't think bike paths are an option. So I think they do end up going on the sidewalk, which we could ban. But I don't think we want to do that. In fact, I think we'll go and encourage the biking policy. Or take the policy to encourage biking at some point. Maybe even now. But we really need to have, like, biking functional before that happens. Um, there's a little park here. I think I can extend from this park. Excellent. Down to there. Because people can walk through this, because these are all built-in paths. And the other thing we can do is extend it maybe over here, so that people in this residential area... ...who want to visit the park will be able to get there. Okay. Okay. That's good enough for that. Let's start to work on our busing. Population's still going up. Money's still going up. Wonderful to see. Where do we want to put the bus depot? It really doesn't matter, as far as I know. Um, they can pretty much just get anywhere. This is just where they spawn from. Tell you what, let's... There's no pollution from this, right? No. Noise pollution, that's it. Let's assume this is, again, sort of a municipal part where things are happening. We'll go and put a bus depot way out there, and then we can start working on our actual... Bus lines. Now, what do we want? I think I'm going to avoid making them, like, super long, which I often do. Um, I think we'll assume we'll have a bus line that runs along here. Or maybe starting on Cord Street and goes to this end and then back. That's a pretty reasonable sort of spine to our bus line. So we'll start there in the corner. It'd be nice if, specifically, they ended up not too far from some of these little pedestrian bits that I just put in. Now, I try to often avoid putting the stops right near an intersection, because that can often cause a lot of problems. Especially if it's right after an intersection. So we're going to have some extra stops here that obviously don't do anything yet, but at some point in the future, they will... Oh, and then here's the problem. How, how do we turn around? That is not really where I want the bus line to go. To me, that's too long. I'd rather have people switch buses. I don't know. That's really, like, as far as you need to go before you can turn around. I think what we could do here is plan just a little sort of dead endy. We only need one, but for the sake of symmetry, let's build a couple over here. And at least people can turn around at the end of that, which might be better. Not really happy with where it's ending up, but it's not going to be too bad. So am I... Can I continue this lane? There we go. Now I'm adding stops. Wonderful. Uh, so actually undo that one. I mean, I still want to sort of get this far. And that's fine, because we, we can have another bus that stops there. So they'll have to just cross over to the other side if they want to connect up to the things. Unless I just do a bus station. Which is a nice way to do a hub. But for now, I sort of just want this one main arterial bus line. I'm trying to get the ones on the other the, the, the ones on the other side to be sort of in between the previous stops. So if I do that and that, we've got to do that, which is probably not what we're looking for. Not on this line. Uh, and then the question is, where do we turn around to actually complete this? True debt. Well, I guess what I could do... ...is just extend that out here. There's not going to be a lot of people making the turn here. So it's going to break our power connection, but we can get it working again. And grab this, and then move the stop, and then we can continue working on it. Wonderful. There we go. 
So the idea is, so this covers the primary shopping districts and a fair bit of residential, including some high density residential, gets you near the industrial area. And then I think I'll have a bus that sort of just bops around the industrial area. Uh, so sort of starts here, because it'll be easy for us to turn around, we know that now. Plus people can walk from one of these to the other and connect from bus route to bus route. They should be able to anyway. And then so they can take that. So. The idea is, and it'll be even better later on when we get Metro, which, again, I come from a smaller town, so I, like, I don't sit around just thinking of the Metro as an integral part of the city. Um, what do I want to do? Do I want to have this thing going inside? I don't think so. I think we might have, like, another, another bus. I don't know if there's a limit to how many buses people are willing to take. I actually don't know that mechanic. But we can get you to come down here just to say, and then stop there. We could have um, buses going in the opposite direction as well. That's probably a really good idea, because I can start... How do I start a new line? There. Uh, no, I guess for here, you can't have buses going in the opposite direction. It's just a loop. It's not a loop. It's up and down a straight line. But for this, it does. I don't know if there's value in getting a line that goes in the opposite direction. So I would be starting on this side and then doing that. Um, I guess it might, especially if we have a little easy way to swap from one to the other. Because this could also be the one that goes inside. So it doesn't just go in the opposite direction. It's also a bit more of a local. that. It doesn't make the far loop. Stop there. Stop there. May as well share at the third stop and then complete the line. There we go. So most of the big loop here is handled in two different directions, plus we do have a little bit of internal coverage over there. Still this long one. Obviously, to get people on these bus lines, we do need to service the residential areas. I mean, ideally, they might be able to walk, but it might be a bit too far for some people. Well, walk plus bike, even though I still think biking in this weather is suicidal. Um, I think what we want to do is start the bus line sort of there. All right, these are sort of dead-endy. Then you can loop around there. Stop here, stop there maybe, stop on the other side. We do have to connect up here, unless they can walk from one to the other. And I guess they can not too badly. Yeah, they just have to cross an intersection. Which I guess they'll have to just do. Because that's close enough. They can hop from one to the other. Plus, there's actually all these back ways that they can sort of walk around. They may not even need that bus line so much. But let's see. More importantly, though, at this point, it's less about literally um, providing full bus coverage. Because I think people can walk to their bus stops even without a local. But it does make the people in this area considerably happier. I think that's going to be a pretty short run. Or is it? If I go here... Yeah, it probably makes more sense to have a loop that goes and then shares some of these stops and then comes back in here, stops there, and I think you can just complete that line and that's going to be okay. And then a little bit more just to cover this grumpy forever. So now the question is where do we go? We might do this. It's a long route. And there's nothing out here yet, but I'll put a stop in there sort of for future proofing. But we can connect up to these industrial loops. We started over there. There, 
something like that. So these guys have to walk a little bit further. Sucks to be them, but now this should really improve the rating of a lot of these houses. We should, yeah, we're seeing some upgrades already because now they have access to that. There's still a lot of services missing. We don't have healthcare over here. Um, we don't have, I don't think we have fire or healthcare down here. We do have enough money for it, so we should probably get some of that down before we get a giant death wave. Um, and then our death, death care gets overwhelmed. Let's do that and put down a little bit of death care. At some point we'll have to put down one of these saunas. Excellent. So we'll get a clinic. Not going to cover everything, but we can get hopefully not too badly off. And we'll get some death care services over here too. This should contribute to some leveling up. All right. This is fire. Doesn't reach all the way down here. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a firehouse and police as well. Doesn't get coverage down there. So we're going to put one of you down there. Very quickly going down the money. Obviously, we don't need education over here. But down here, we do. That. Do we build another high school? How's our high school capacity? Oh, yeah. It's not just coverage. It's also a question of capacity. And we don't currently have the high school capacity. So we're going to get you down over here. So that should. There we go. Now we have enough. And now we have enough. Excellent. So we're getting more and more educated people. The thing that becomes important is, can we upgrade these things so that they get the next level of workers? Education progress. But you don't have... You shouldn't have another education progress. Oh, there we go. I don't know, something ticked. Or went back down. Like, how do you get your educational progress? I don't know. Transportation isn't bad. It'd be even better if we did get them a subway. Then they'd be thrilled. Um, if we just gave these guys their cargo station, they would become extremely happy. Because just by being near it would give it uh, cargo satisfaction. Of which it has none right now. So that would level up our industry. I'm pretty confident about that. Some of these stats might be uh, misleading. This is, I think, a mod that gives me more of a breakdown over here um, of their needs, and so it might be a bit misleading. But let's specifically target one. So this is Garments Limited. It's le strictly level one, yeah. We're going to go ahead and get, a, um, get the shipping thing going on. We still need a lot of population. A lot of these places do have a lack of workers. Now, I guess the uh, the shipping is going to cost me a fair bit. Cargo Harbor is 60000 which is basically all my money right now. But I think it's going to be worth it. I'll put it right over here. Boom. It's not even connected, and it already makes people happy, and things are going to upgrade. Yeah, they're upgrading like mad. <laughs> like mad. So I do want to hopefully split this traffic. Now, I don't think that the cargo's quite as bad as the trains. The trains, for whatever reason, generate a ridiculous amount of traffic. This will still generate a fair amount. And actually, that's a really bad way to split that industry. Oh, well. It's fine. Actually, why not just... There we go. Fill in the industry over there. And they'll probably want water slash heating. Uh, actually, they're already covered. Right now, our heating capacity is great. Our electrical capacity is great. Yeah, by getting the the proper heating in there, we've really cut back on the amount of electricity we need. Right now, we still mostly have a need for residential, but that should have leveled things up. If we check this building over here, still garments limited, but the cargo thing has gone up. I don't know. We should get them. I don't know why the police is so low. It's obviously got police coverage. Yeah, it's in the, it's great police coverage. We'll have to give it time. Mostly, we're still complaining about workers. So we will have to go and pad out our residential stuff a bit more. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to grab this dual lane. And I'm going to... While T intersections tend to be a little bit better for traffic, I think in this case we're going to be okay. Because, again, this is not really a thoroughfare because of the way we've designed things. It's mostly local traffic. And if I loop off like this... I'm going to pause because we're probably going to break some of these power lines. This should not actually generate that much more traffic. And then the one with the... Not one way. This one here with bicycle lanes. Do I want to end up with a square grid inside of this? Don't want to go too close to the industrial. But we do need more people. 
I, I, I think after this little area here, I'm actually going to go and expand some more completely different. We'll buy a new zone or a couple of new areas and expand there. I really am trying to avoid uh, a ridiculously high density count. We are going to sprawl a bit more as a result, which has its own problems, but I think might lead to a bit more of an interesting look. bit of that. Uh, I could trim that down a bit and maybe... It's bad we're not doing the tree-lined ones because they are pretty. But I'm trying to encourage a bit more bike biking. Let me go and blow that up and blow this up because we'll find an alternate solution. Do I want to fill in this area? No, I think it'll be fine that we just have houses. I, in fact, I think I'm going to go relatively high density here. Uh, let's do this to start off with. And then... Trim that back here, because it'll look dumb. Do that. Uh, we do still have a requirement for commercial. So I think we're going to go to low density. Remove this. Then do that. These guys will still need shipment from industrial stuff to get their goods, but hopefully we'll be okay. Um, they will almost certainly want their own elementary school at least. Can we get, like, good coverage? There we go. That's decent. Let's give them a big park inside. You know what we haven't done is the new seasonal stuff. Uh, we may have built one skating rink. I don't remember. We're going to build a skating rink. We're also going to build a curling rink. If I go somewhere like this, it avoids wrecking too many houses. Um, ski lodge we haven't done. There's the curling rink. Greatest sport in the world. Well, it's pretty good. I really, it's freakish. I, I've, I really enjoy watching curling. It's actually really brilliant, intellectual, and strategic. Even though it doesn't look like it should be. And there's a lot of possibility for high drama. I'm going to put you over here. I think you'll still cover a lot of stuff. That's going to be okay. local police station, or that's fire station. We'll also need a local police station. And we're out of money. We still need to put some pipes over here, but we're going to get some money pretty quickly. These are the heated pipes, and... Okay, our electrical connection has been broken. Let's fix that first. I mean, I knew I got rid of the lines. Um, I think we're going to be able to fill this in without the power relatively soon. But if I do this, at least it doesn't get in the way of any of my zoning. That should connect everything up again. Wonderful. And then, yeah, we can work on our water slash heating pipes. Extend this out over to here. Bring this out 90 degrees, 2200. And we can't, but we can't do anything except accept the fact that there's going to be some overlap over here. Six grand just to build that. Crazy. I I could just build these little things. That's going to be sufficient. Still a little gap there, but that's actually still going to satisfy the need of the house. There we are. And that's a little cheaper to build. Commercial needs going up a fair bit. That's good. This is going to give us a lot more workers for our industry, which is nice. We will have to get a bus lane. So the traffic here, getting a little hairy again. But so far, so good. Let's get some buses in this new area. And basically... Uh, create a new line. Where was it? It's very tricksy. There it is, right there. Create a new line from that stop. Let's go down here. And scooch through here. Uh, then, yeah, come around this way, and that's going to be okay. And then... What the hell route are you taking? And you're going to loop around again. Wow. 
Let's try to do a better job here. Okay, I see. Cancel. Let's go back into this. I think it'll be better, actually, if we create a new line that's connected to here. Stops here. Pops inside this little neighborhood. Comes back out over here. Comes down here. Comes back out over here. And then connects up. There we go. That feels like a much saner route. And we'll satisfy all these people. And yeah, I think I'm done developing this area. I don't think I want to get any more density than this. How's the power? Ooh, it's a little tight. It's not even that cold right now. Heating availability is good, but power is definitely getting a bit tight. Um, we are going to want some more... Um, some more garbage collection soon. And we might be able to help the power a little bit. I still want to get a recycling plant down. But the incineration plants are still pretty handy dandy for their ability to generate a little bit of power as well as the garbage. So I'm hoping from here they take a right and then come down here and then work on that. Well, power did just get fixed. I don't know if it's from the incinerator or not, but we'll take it for now. Uh, they're complaining a bit about health over here. Yeah, how's the healthcare coverage? Uh, you're actually okay. You know, since you've got such high density over here, and actually the coverage is a little bit weaker, I'm going to put down a sauna in this neighborhood. Oh, look at the area that it covers. It's just huge. Do this, get a lot of happiness down. And we get down a sauna. Where is it? Right here? Healthcare facility with hot baths. Supposed to improve health. I don't know if it, like, sends out vehicles or people come to visit or how it works. But there we go. Um, I didn't set down any walking paths here. And it's probably a good idea to do that, even though it does require me to smash some buildings. But right off here... That might be all we really need. Well, it may be here too, actually. That's a long trip for anyone. A little wiggly wobbly. But some of these people might be more encouraged to just hop out over here and catch a bus there, depending on where they're trying to go. So with this population, 10,000, I mean, you can make a 10,000 population stuff in one square, and we're using four squares. Well, really, we're using three squares. Well, most of them we're using two, actually, to do it. I could expand over here, but I'm really hoping to just go somewhere just off. Just start another town, maybe over here. Basically, almost self-contained and separated. Obviously, there will be some interchange. They'll use the highway for that, and that will put in some extra load on the highway, which, oh, is being backed up quite badly here. This also, oh, and here. Hello. Where are y'all going? Let me grab a random car. This is a, a great mod. Try to figure out where the hell people are going. To in here. I mean, that is true. All of this, all of this residential. Now, while people aren't driving through here, all of this residential is dealt with with this one corner. You can come in over here for down there, and I bet you that is what happens. Let's grab another one of these cars. Where are you going? To there. Hmm. <laughs> and there's a limit to how many lanes you're using to turn. That isn't great. Now, sometimes it is temporary as you develop a new area, but it's a lot of people looking to make the right turns. I'm actually wondering if connecting this up would be good. Probably not, because I think it would just move the bottleneck a little closer here, because more people would just be making that. I don't know, there might be a little bit more division into what happens. We also haven't made any use of one-way streets or anything of that nature, which is something that we could look into. We haven't done any tunnels because I, I don't feel it makes it fits the, the, the mood uh, or the theme. But we could easily put a little tunnel, a uh, highway off-ramp thing that goes off here, goes underground, and just pops in over here. And that would make a massive difference for our traffic. But it feels a little cheaty. So I don't know. European themes, are they kicking in? Eh, yeah. 
ish. And yeah, I think it's because... I guess, okay, this is effectively just a two lane. I gotta remember that, or four lanes, right? So everyone who wants to take right only has the one lane. It's because of the bus lane. If I got rid of the bus lane, then I think people would use two lanes for the right hand turn. But I like the bus lanes. This prevents my buses from causing too many problems. Yeah, I don't know. It is uh, definitely time for us to put in a cut. We do have a bit of a power problem as well. We have enough money to deal with it. Um, I'm not going to build a solar power plant because I don't think it fits the, the theme of the winter map. So we'll probably just keep making more oil power plants. Since we already have a big polluted area anyway. So let me put that down uh, now. Resolve that power problem. Excellent. And we'll put a cut in this video. Thanks very much for watching another episode, folks. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.